The rollout of fibre optic technology has transformed our lives and the world as a whole. Civilian networks use RF fibre optic cables and increasingly they're embracing free space optical communications. Since World War II, the military has been using RF communications and they have already adopted fibre optic cables, but they haven't yet fully embraced free space optical communications. Now is the time for the military to start using free space optical communications. And here's why. So in the modern battle space, each force element requires high bandwidth in order to achieve interoperability and also to achieve cohesiveness. The major challenges with using RF is that they're vulnerable to detection, interception and jamming. So in a congested and contested battle space, reliance on RF communications provides opportunity to the enemy to engage your forces. The rapid developments and improvements in the commercial telecoms industry has meant the components that are utilised in free space optical communications have become smaller and more robust, and that enables us to bridge the technology into the military domain. So free space optical communications presents a new paradigm in communications technology, minimising the risk of detection and interception. Free space optical communications is really the transmission of data down a very narrow laser beam between two specific points, effectively enabling a fibre optic cable in the air, and what that delivers is phenomenal bandwidth. So the key advantage of free space optical communications is platform and soldier survivability. So free space optical communications uses zero RF emissions, effectively protecting the integrity of the data while it's transmitted, and it makes it harder to detect platform and troop locations. Kinetic is developing free space optical communication solutions for land, sea, air and space. And we're also conducting groundbreaking demonstrations such as combining free space optical communications with military sensing.